I like the speed. I just like the atmosphere and being at the track and the thrill you get going down this ace track. I got selected to drive a Los Motorsports jet car for them. I feel like it's because I've experienced the racing, so I know about it, and then it's something I'm passionate about. It's definitely something I want to do with my life. Kat Muller grew up loving everything about race cars. Muller's love for racing started early, growing up in her dad's auto body shop in Sarasota, Corvettes West. She spent years at the track watching her dad race, and when she turned 11, got behind the wheel herself and began racing junior dragsters. Muller is in her second year at USF, studying mechanical engineering, learning all there is to know about going fast. Her racing career got kicked up a notch after joining the Larson Motorsports team in August, one of four women selected to pilot the high-powered jet dragsters. Larson Motorsports is definitely the leader in jet drag racing. Um, they have a four-car team, which is pretty much unheard of in the jet drag racing world. And it's all girls, and so, I mean, they have four of the five girls who drive jet cars. It's a dragster, and then instead of, like, a standard engine that you would expect on a car, it's a jet engine. We'll use jet A fuel or biofuel. We're limited at 320. We usually don't run quite that fast because we don't have enough time to shut off and slow the car down before the end of the track, so we'll usually run around 300. Kat is working her way into the jet car and has taken several test runs since joining the team. Piloting the jet dragsters takes extreme precision and practice. The burner pop is in the beginning where you light the burner for like a quick second and it just like jerks forward a bit and then when you're on the starting line and you actually go then you light the after burner and it stays lit to the end of the track. But both feet pedals are brakes and then when you have a throttle and you can push it, you push it up to 100% throttle and then once it's at 100% you kind of like stage in the last bit and then you take your feet off the brakes and press the afterburner at the same time and it just goes. It's five G's when you leave the starting line. So, and then you have seven when you pull the parachutes to stop. It's that adrenaline rush when you go down the track. I mean, you can't really experience anything else like it. Growing up in the shop, Cap picked up mechanical skills from her dad, but knows that building her engineering expertise will speed up her racing career. So mechanical engineering was kind of the obvious choice for that learn how their cars are built and everything. And I think a lot of like my classes and stuff, I'm still in the beginning, so I haven't gotten that in depth, but I can relate it to my real world experience with racing, which is useful. Joining the Larson Jet Car team has taken Muller to a new level of speed and fame, and she's in training now to handle both. That's my ultimate goal of it. It's what I want to do with my life, so I'm hoping for the best. For USF News, I'm Katie Hennig.